Okay, children, this is how our water came from the rum pump. From the spring, this is our spring. The water goes into the rum pump. This is our rum pump. And from the rum pump, we have two pipes. And from the pipes, the water runs two kilometers from the rum pump. And it will go to our school. This is our school. And the water will come out in our faucet. So, do you know now how we get water from the rum pump? Yes! Okay, children, we're going to get our containers and we're going to get waters in our faucets. So this is the rum pump which supplies the school for 24 hours a day. It's an automatic device. It uses power of the water, no electricity, no fuel, just energy from the water and bringing up water to a very high elevation. Bacolod City in the island of Negros in the Philippines. This is where Alki Zenga, a Dutch national, settled 21 years ago. In 1992, he created the NGO Aid Fee to try to help the most disadvantaged people living in the mountains on the island of Negros. So far, Aid Fee has helped bring clean running water to 170 mountain villages, representing around 50,000 people. There's no fuel or electricity involved. The pumps that Alki makes are something of a technological miracle. Ecological and sustainable, those are the watchwords of Aid Fee. We are the Alternative Indigenous Development Foundation, Incorporated, but that's a long word, so we say 8, 8FI. From 1997, we are very well known for internationally also for our uh, flagship technology, the hydraulic ramp pump. The ramp pump is a device which uses uh, energy contained in falling water to, to lift a portion of that water to very high elevations. It pumps 24 hours a day, continuous pumping for free, hardly any maintenance, it's, it's so simple. It's a very old uh, technology, it's more than 200 years old. For myself, I work on this technology for 25 years. The demand came for this pump, so we spread over different islands from the Philippines. We did installations in uh, Japan, uh, we moved pumps to Ma Malaysia. We did three installations in Afghanistan. Then we are doing, at the moment, uh, Nepal, and we are working on Colombia and Madagascar. The Doong village on the island of Negros is set to get two pumps. They're loaded onto the lorry. It's just the start of a long journey. We manufacture uh, the pump ourselves. That's also the concept of our uh, foundation, local manufacturing, also to create employment. There's not enough employment in the Philippines. The pump is a precision uh, machine which has to be manufactured here in a precise way. But after it has been installed, it should be easy to operate and easy to maintain. The small village of Doong in the volcanic mountains towering over the island of Negros is home to a few farmers and livestock breeders who are too poor to be connected to the drinking water system. Every day water has to be brought to the village from the river on a cart pulled by an ox. The path is long and difficult, so that the amount of water supplied is limited to 100 litres per house, 100 litres for about six people, for drinking, preparing meals and washing. With this amount, it's impossible to maintain a minimum of hygiene or keep a vegetable garden. The villages lower down the mountainside received their ram pumps a few months ago. Clean running water now reaches the villages at a rate of 700 litres per day per house, instead of the 100 litres that was carried on men's backs or on an ox-drawn cart. I had to fetch water far from my home, many times a day, and to carry it in bamboo containers on my back. 
It was so difficult and heavy that I became sick, and finally I was forced to leave the village and live in the city, where I didn't have to fetch water. Since they've brought the running water to the village, I've come back to live here again, at my place. After a lorry journey, the pumps intended for Doong village are brought on foot over the valleys as far as the riverbed. It takes just a few minutes to put the pumps together. These ram pumps, which will deliver water right to Doong village, won't use any other form of energy than that provided by the water itself. No motor, no secondary energy source is needed to pump the water along 1,200 metres of pipes and 125 metres uphill. Okay, we are here at the new system with uh, two ram pumps. It took only five minutes, as you saw, uh, to assemble. Uh, the whole installation takes only three weeks. Then we supply already 50 households with around 300 people with uh, water. From the river, stream or spring, the water is delivered to the pump through a slanting pipe. The water is driven into the pump using simple gravity and closes the waste valve, creating a high pressure. The water then travels vertically through the pump body, opens the delivery valve, enters the pressure chamber and compresses the air in the column. The compressed air then forces the water back, closing the delivery valve. All the time, water then flows up through the delivery pipe. Then the pressure falls in the lower part of the pump and the waste valve opens, allowing the water again to flow down the drive pipe. The wasting valve closes once more, the delivery valve opens and the cycle starts again. It's repeated between 30 to 100 times a minute. The whole installation for providing running water for Doong village with the help of two ram pumps has cost $8,500. The cost is usually split into three, a third from the government, a third from aid fee, and a third from the village. Maintaining the ram pumps will be the responsibility of Leo, a villager trained by aid fee. Each pump that's fitted has someone to look after it, who lives in the village that uses the pump. What's your role there? I am in charge of the water maintenance. Ah, water maintenance, and what do you do if there's a problem? If there is any defect, I repair it. Can you manage this? Yes, I can. Almost 400 technicians have been trained so far at Aidfi's headquarters in Bacalod city. These technicians and the installations will then be regularly monitored by Aidfi's engineers. Okay, here we have another uh, ram pump. This time not for a village, but for uh, livestock. There are more than 200 cows uh, up here. And uh, this is for the drinking of the cows. And this uh, really helps uh, the increase of local uh, meat production. The Philippines is short of meat and imported meat is four times more expensive than locally produced meat. The installation of the ram pumps for the livestock means meat can be produced locally at minimal cost. The water situation was very difficult. That's why we requested a ram pump to supply clean drinking water for the cows. Before, the water was not drinkable and the cows were sick. You can see now, the cows are fatter, and we can maintain a healthy situation all year round. Aid fees ram pumps have already allowed 50,000 people to live a more decent life in the Philippine mountains. The technology used in the ram pump, cheap, robust, and totally ecological and sustainable, with only the minimum of maintenance costs, could conquer the whole world. Wherever people face enormous difficulty obtaining the drinking water they need, it should be possible to install a ram pump.